Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, interesting uh, exponential uh, equation. And our equation is uh, 81 power x equals to x power 81 divided by x power 69. And we are going to solve this equation for x. In other words, we are going to find the value of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on the right hand side of this uh, equation. And now let's recall the quotient rule of exponents. If we have uh, x power m divided by x power n, then uh, we could write this one as uh, x power m minus n. In other words, we are simply going to subtract uh, these exponents, as you can see. So therefore, we are going to apply this rule on the right hand side. So therefore, we are going to subtract uh, these exponents, 81 minus 69. So that is going to give us uh, x power 81 minus 69 is going to give us uh, x power 12 on the right hand side. So therefore, our simplified equation is going to become 81 power x is going to be equal to x power 12 on the right hand side. So thus our new equation turns out to be 81 power x equals to x power 12 and we are going to deal with it. And now let me show you the very first method to solve for x. Let's focus on the left hand side on this uh, base uh, 81. 81 could be written as uh, 3 power 4. So therefore uh, this whole equation could be written as uh, 3 power 4 and then whole uh, power x uh, is going to be equal to x power 12. And now let's recall the power rule of uh, exponents. If we have a uh, x power m and then power n. In other words, we have nested exponents. Then this could be written as uh, m times uh, n. So therefore, on the left hand side, we are going to multiply out uh, these nested exponents for an x. So therefore, this could be written as uh, 3 power 4x is going to be equal to x uh, power 12. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to take uh, power uh, one fourth uh, on the left hand side. And likewise, I'm going to take power one fourth uh, on the right hand side uh, as well. And now we are going to apply the power rule uh, of exponents uh, once again on both uh, sides of this uh, equation. So therefore, on the left hand side, if we multiply 4x uh, times one fourth, uh, that is going to give us simply 3 power x uh, equals to and on the right hand side uh, x uh, power 12 times uh, 1 fourth is going to give us uh, power 3. And in this uh, next step I am going to take the power uh, 1 divided by 3x uh, on the left hand side and likewise I am going to take the power 1 divided by 3x uh, as well on the right hand side and we are going to apply the power rule once again on both sides of this uh, equation. So therefore on the left hand side we are going to have uh, x power when we multiply these nested exponents x times uh, 1 divided by 3x that is simply going to give us uh, 1 third uh, equals to x uh, power 3 times uh, 1 divided by 3x is going to give us simply 1 divided by x and here we can see for x we got uh, 3 and for this x uh, we got uh, 3 over here as well. So therefore we conclude uh, that our x value has got to be equal to 3. So thus our solution x turns out to be equal to 3 by using the very first method. And now let me share with you the second method as well to solve for uh, x. And this time we are going to be using uh, the logarithmic rules. So therefore I'm going to put log on the left hand side and likewise I'm going to put the common log on the right hand side as well. And now let's recall the logarithmic uh, power rule. If we have a log of uh, m and then power n 
then we can uh, drag this uh, exponent n uh, all the way to the very front as you can see on the right hand side we got uh, n times uh, log of m and we are going to apply this uh, rule on both sides of this uh, equation so therefore i'm going to drag this uh, exponent uh, all the way to the front and likewise this exponent to 12 i'm going to drag it to the front uh, as well so therefore this could be written as uh, x times uh, log of uh, 81 is going to be equal to 12 times uh, log of uh, x and now let's make an observation we can see 81 we could tweak this one as uh, 3 power 4 so therefore this could be written as uh, x times uh, log of uh, 3 power 4 is going to be equal to 12 times uh, log of uh, x and once again we are going to be using this uh, logarithmic power rule on the left hand side and I'm going to drag this exponent for all the way to the very front. So therefore this could be written as uh, 4 times uh, x times uh, log of uh, 3 equals to 12 times uh, log of uh, x and now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 4 so therefore we could see on the left hand side this 4 and 4 is gone so we are ended up with the uh, x uh, times uh, log of uh, 3 is going to be equal to 3 times uh, log of uh, x and here we can see that this equation is valid if I replace uh, x by 3 value and likewise x equal to 3 value again so therefore we could see that our solution x uh, once again turns out to be equal to 3 by using the second method as well if you are not satisfied with this approach we can uh, go ahead and do a couple of more steps and now let's focus on this equation once again if we apply the reverse uh, cross multiplication then this equation could be written as uh, x uh, divided by 3 equals to log of x uh, divided by log of uh, 3 in other words uh, if we cross multiply this way we are going to get uh, x times log of 3 and that is going to be equal to 3 times uh, log of x uh, on the right hand side and here I have copied down this equation uh, on the right hand side since we are running out of the space and now let's recall the change of uh, base formula if we have log of uh, y with the base x this could be written as log of y divided by log of x and we are going to apply this uh, change of base uh, rule on the right hand side so therefore this whole thing could be written as uh, log of uh, x uh, with the base uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, conversion rule we got logarithmic form and we are going to convert into an exponential one we are going to apply this uh, rule on this uh, equation so therefore this could be written as 3 power x uh, divided by 3 is going to be equal to x uh, on the right hand side and now I'm going to take a power of uh, 1 divided by x uh, on the left hand side and power 1 divided by x uh, on the right hand side as well so therefore uh, the power rule of exponents uh, the left hand side is going to be simply 3 power 1 divided by 3 is going to be equal to x uh, power 1 divided by x and here we conclude uh, that uh, our x value has got to be 3 so thus we got our solution x equal to 3 by using the second method as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye